What's going on my Fly Happy family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. So, a quick video, man. Uh, apparently, Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell were spotted at the Indiana Pacers game last night. And it's been going viral. But I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, not just about them being there, but about how I see the pendulum swinging just a tad bit for the WNBA. Um, we're about to get all the way into it, but before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy if you like the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 16.1 by the end of the day, so if y'all can help me out with that, I highly appreciate it. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. Kaylin Clark is changing a wave, man. She's changing not only how people are viewing the WNBA, but also how... People are viewing WNBA players. Now, do I think Kelsey Mitchell would have been getting this love without Caitlin? Maybe, because she played in Indiana, right? So I would think she is popular in Indiana. You know, the chemistry is still there. They're still, you know, um, hanging out with each other. Uh, We've seen the videos with Lexi and Caitlin. So the chemistry is still there amongst the core um, I'm pretty sure Leah Boston gonna hang out with Caitlyn sometime throughout their off season as well. Yeah, man, it's just really dope to see WNBA players finally coming and supporting the NBA players. Hopefully, it get to the point where the WNBA players support the NBA players just as much as they support them because they are they're big advocates of the WNBA. They always buying their jerseys, shoes. Um, I think, I think. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. was wearing Brianna's shoes. So it's like they always showing love, you know. So it's really good to see the WNBA give back. In my opinion, the NBA players are probably their biggest fans. And then men in general. And then it goes to women. Hopefully this will get some of the WNBA players to stop trying to talk down on the NBA players. And talk trash about them. And start supporting them like how they're supporting right here. But it will be nice to see this happen more often with other WNBA teams, WNBA players, going to support their NBA counterparts, you know. You know, you got you have these guys out here giving their all, making the game interesting, and, you know, that's bringing more revenue for the NBA so the NBA can have more revenue to help you all since you all are being subsidized by the NBA. You know, it's a huge family, and everybody has to work together to make this product look good. You know, so at the end of the day, I love to see stuff like this. Shout out to Tyrese, man, showing that support, showing that love. And, you know, shout out to Caitlin and Kelsey for returning the favor. You got a man and woman team in New York. It should be some love being shown. You got a man and woman team in Atlanta. It should be some love being shown. Now, I do want to talk about contracts, right? At first, it felt like Kelsey Mitchell might have been leaving. The way she was excluding herself in that interview, um... It seemed like she was going to be leaving. But I did say in that video I made that she probably was playing the money play. You know, it was a play to get the manager to tune in and to get them to say, like, hey, whatever is needed to keep Kelsey Mitchell, let's make it happen. I just don't see her fitting well anywhere else. I'm not saying she won't ball out wherever she goes. It's just, like, where would she go and kind of get the same results that she's getting right now. Now, they are building these new teams, and maybe they could have a point guard that kind of resembles Caitlyn a little bit. But, like, how much of a risk do you want to take on that, though? You know, you already have what you need right there. Why leave it? I know we was talking in my live stream, and I know somebody brought up the Aces, but it's like, yeah, even if she played for the Aces, you got Kelsey Plum there. So, how would that work? Unless they're trading each other, you know, unless they're trading off on each other. Yeah, I don't think Kelsey Mitchell want to leave, honestly. The chemistry is great. Uh, she even announced it herself that, you know, due to Caitlin Clark's play, it's helping her have a better season. So, yeah, I think she's un- I think she understands where she's at, and I think um, she understands what Caitlin does for her game as well. So I don't think she want to leave. Now, I do believe she might sign a one-year contract. Um, only reason I believe that is because that big CBA deal is coming. And I think a lot of players want a piece of that action. This is my prediction, okay? I'm not saying I'm right, but I think this is what's going to happen. 
I don't think they're going to want a long-term contract. Now, mind you, the safer thing to do is to sign the long-term contract because you just never know what's going to happen to you next year. Yeah, in my prediction, I think Kelsey Mitchell is going to sign a one-year contract and see what the CBA is talking about. Right along with all these other big players, that could definitely make the fever a dangerous team. Like, they was already kind of dangerous. We knew some of the nuances that they needed to fix in order to be that complete dangerous team. But, man, there's some real players that's going into the free agency that could make the fever top-notch. I mean, the best team in the league. So, we'll see, man. I'm really excited for next year. I'm really excited. Um... Ready to see what unfolds, what trades are going to be made, how these new teams about to look. You got 44 games now. It's going to be really exciting next year, man. Whatever Caitlin does, she go viral. So, I mean, she playing golf, go viral. Go swimming, go viral. Just at the game, go viral. So, hey, man, it's a good look for the WNBA, good look for Caitlin, and, and a good look for definitely the Indiana Fever. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I love y'all. Y'all keep it smooth.